overclockers, my name's Bryony and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at WD's new NVMe drive, the WD Blue SN570. Storage may not be as thrilling as a GPU, but this drive certainly makes Gen 3 SSDs a lot more exciting than they were. The SN570 is an affordable mainstream drive that comes with an awesome 50% performance bump over its predecessor. That puts it right on the heels of much more expensive storage. It's going to be available very soon and it will replace the extremely popular and best-selling SN550, which is why I'm going to be comparing the two in this video. Hopefully I've piqued your interest, so keep watching for detailed specs, benchmarks and pricing. So let's get into it. I'm going to start off the video with a little bit of an introduction, just in case you're not super up to date with what's happening in the storage world. Can't really blame you there. The WD Blue series is an all-rounder. It sits between the energy efficient green series and the high performance black series, making it popular for your basic general purpose PC storage. It's going to work great for gamers, creators and just about anyone that wants good reliable storage. Currently, one of the best-selling storage drives on the Overclockers website is the WD Blue SN550. It's been around since late 2019, and it's an affordable M.2 Gen 3 NVMe drive that is actually very, very good. It's a revision of the first WD Blue NVMe drive, the SN500, and this high-speed drive simply slots right into a compatible motherboard or laptop to give a huge performance boost over your SATA SSD or a hard drive. It actually comes with a five-year warranty and thousands of five-star reviews online. So, you might now be wondering, why has WD decided to retire the SN550? Well, the answer is performance. Lots and lots of extra performance. The brand new WD Blue SN570 is still a Gen 3 NVMe drive, but it has a much faster read and write speed, so it's basically a quicker, better version of what was an already an awesome storage drive. Now, I can hear you all asking, how much faster is it? Well, let's take a look at the numbers and make some comparisons. The table up on screen now might look pretty intimidating, but let's highlight a couple of the most interesting points. The read and write speed measures how fast a drive can process data, and it's a handy measurement to see how fast a drive is. As you can see, there is a large jump from the SN550 to the SN570, and this translates to an average uplift of 50%. A read speed of 3,500 megabytes brings us into WD Black slash Samsung 970 Plus territory, which is pretty impressive. You can also see that the SM570 maintains that all-important five-year WD warranty. Affordable does not mean bad, and a guarantee that your storage will last you at least five years is great to have. When it comes to capacity, the SM570 is going to be available in three different options, 250GB, 500GB or the one terabyte drive we took a look at in this video. It's likely that WD will also bring out a 2TB version in the near future, but 1TB is the maximum capacity available at launch. Finally, the all-important pricing comparison. Like I said, the SN550 is being put to bed, so the SN570 is taking its place, and it's designed to slot into that same huge slot in the market. Therefore, you'll be pleased to know that despite the huge performance uplift, the 1TB SN570 is available for a very affordable $83.99. As always, pricing may change and PC components are all over the place at the moment, but at the time of filming, this is what you can expect to pay, which I think is a bit of a bargain. It's gonna be perfect for a bit of oomph in a more budget system. Now moving on to the next part of the video, and that is my benchmark results. Spoiler, there isn't too many. I just wanted to test how the SM570 shapes up to the SM550 and a couple of similar WD drives. It's actually pretty difficult to test the real world performance of storage, but these benchmarks help to showcase the overall read and write speed and how that affects creative tasks and gaming. First up, it's Crystal Disk Mark. This is a useful benchmark to measure the theoretical performance levels of hard drives and SSDs. 
It provides a read and write speed that should equate to the absolute maximum sequential performance of this drive. As you can see in my results, I even chucked in the read and write speed results of my own WD Black SN750 500GB drive from my home PC and a WD Blue SATA SSD. This gives us a nice comparison and shows that this new WD Blue drive has now overtaken an older and more expensive high performance drive. As expected, both the SN550 and the SN570 get the read and write speeds listed on the box. My WD Black SN750 is suddenly looking oh so dated next to the much more affordable SN570. The next benchmark is good old trusty PC Mark 8. This software is now completely free and it helps to benchmark PCs with a range of tasks. The PC Mark 8 storage test simulates disk activity by playing back a trace of storage activity recorded during actual use of applications from the Adobe Creative Suite, Microsoft Office, and a selection of popular games. You get an overall score, bandwidth result, and a bunch of different times that it takes to perform a set of tasks in a number of programs. I've selected a couple to compare, and they should give you an idea of the difference in real-world performance. We're only talking mere seconds, but those seconds do actually add up, and it means there's less time spent waiting and more time working or gaming. As you can see, the brand new WD Blue SN570 gets a comfortably higher score than the SN550, and it's gonna save you around half a second on those loading screens and while you're undertaking those intensive creative tasks. The final Fantasy Endwalker benchmark is a free real-world game benchmark that easily and accurately records the game load time for each scene without the inaccuracy of trying to sit there using a stopwatch or taking into account my slow reaction times. All these drives were tested on the same day on the same PC, as of course game loading times are also heavily affected by other hardware and processors. As you can see from my results, we're talking fractions of a second, but once again, this will add up. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. Storage is important, and the WD Blue SN570 is a significant upgrade over the previous SN550, and the performance is certainly impressive for a DRAMless drive. It's an ideal upgrade over a SATA SSD, and the competitive pricing makes it a great option over similar Gen 3 NVMe options as well. As a bonus for content creators, it will also come with a free one-month subscription service to Adobe Creative Cloud. You can also get free access to the WD Dashboard software to monitor your drive, and WD Acronis cloning software for migrating your existing OS. Remember to check out the SN570 on the Overclockers website and give this video a big thumbs up. I'd love for you to leave me a comment if you found this video useful and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our upcoming content. I'll see you in the next one.